Uh, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Creating Process. In this tutorial, we're creating out this concept. Uh, today, we'll be creating out this profile vector portrait design inside Illustrator. And you can say this minimal or um, anything, but the design is very simple. We have just uh, extracted a few of the uh, facial details and created out this vector design. We'll be using image or any ported image. You can use any of the ported image to create out this design. It's very simple. So for this, I'm using this image. I'm just aligning it according to the uh, design and use the ruler tool to find the center line. Now we'll be draw tracing out all the tiny details or all the important details in the portrait image. So for here we have got that specs. So just uh, trace out the specs according to shape. So the, the specs in circular shape. So I'm using ellipse tool to create out that. Uh, you can even use rectangle tool if your portrait image have that different shape of specs like rectangular or a little any fancy style but you can use that and tweak them according to your portrait image. Now I'm using rectangle tool over here to create out that uh, rectangular details like uh, the shape or uh, the base of the rect uh, specs is uh, like little rectangular shape so just create it out and uh, use the uh, direct selection tool if needed to tweak it to adjust it according to the flow of the image so here i'm just dragging it down to make it according to the image just adding few uh, anchor points using the pan tool and just drag them uh, drag them up to give that curve and to give a nice curve we'll be using anchor point tool over here and just click and drag them and this will give you a smooth nice curve in your line so for the second rectangle I'm just um, making it as per the image so just make sure they are following the image details I uh, will be using pan tool to draw it and any other complex shapes like that and after this, I will trace out the eyebrows. So use the pen tool and trace it out. That and so for the nose region, you can see as it's organic. So we have to just trace out only the flow of the nose shape. So using the pen tool, tool I just created out that curve. And for the nostril, that hole, we have just created out that and traced it out using the pen tool and make them little nice smoothly shaped and over here uh, at the lower region we are adding a small shape to give that finishing end of the uh, nose to show that and uh, just make them a little bit smoother and like that and in the same way we'll trace out the lips region and that's according to it over here I'm just tracing out the whole outer region first and then what I'll do is I'll add that inner shape later on. So I just trade it out like that. Now as we go along, I will be tracing out the facial shape, the jawline and all the hair detail. And for this design, I will be creating only the half region because other half will be flatted as we go further in the tutorial. So just follow along the uh, image, trace out all the uh, tiny tiny details that you find in the image. For this, as you can see, I'm tracing out the hairband that she's wearing. And as we go along, I'm just completing out this uh, shape over here. Just complete out all the shapes using the vector. Now next thing I did here is uh, I have used two layers. The top layer is the vector shapes and the second layer is the layer where we got the image. So I can just hide out and see the uh, vector shapes as only so I just hide it out. So we'll be using few of the color tones and the first color is dark blue color. We'll be using this color code. You get that color. The second uh, color is little darker blue. You can get that using this color code. 
third one is light blue using this color code you'll get that effect and the last one we'll be using is the grading color for the lips region that's all so it's a red and dark red grading color now uh, we'll be applying this gradient to our design so selecting the spec circle for the outer one we have given that second darker blue color and for the specs the glasses region we have given the dark color for the um, base of the specs we have given that second darker blue color eyebrow dark blue color fully dark blue color and for the nose we'll just like this stroke and let's give some stroke color to this so uh, for this i'm giving this blue color which is color between these two colors the color code i have used is this one you can get that color using this color code so uh, let's go to profile and let's choose this shape which is a point on both ends and this will give it that nice organic finishing paint like a brush stroke effect we are just making sure that the shapes are which are behind the specs are not visible and for the nostril we are giving a dark blue color and for that finishing and shape we're giving a blue color but a little darker tone just make it a little darker now for the lips uh, we'll be applying that grading color you just pick it using the eyedropper tool or you can make a gradient color like that and for the inner hole I'm using that dark red color so it's the color code I have used you can use it and you get that effect so as you can see the lips are uh, one object so it's very difficult to tweak it to give that a uh, realistic look so just um, open the image in the background and let's reduce the opacity now using the pen tool let's trace out these half region of the lips like that and uh, complete the shape now we'll select the shape and the lip shape and we'll go to pathfinder and click on divide and this will divide it into two shapes so ungroup it and the top shape is separate lower shape is separate and we can tweak the color tones now very independently subtract out the unwanted shapes and let's increase the opacity so go to the opacity and use this slider to increase the opacity now to tweak the gradient color we'll be using gradient tool so selecting that just drag it down and you go you will give that will give that uh, dark tone on the lower and brighter tone on top and tweak them adjust them using the slider do the same for the second one just click and drag it down and this will give you that darker tone but as it's leave we need some you know, curve gradient color so let's change to radial and increase the size and adjust them properly according to your design so just click and a slide use the slider tool to adjust the gradient shapes and now over here as you can see uh, we are having this hairband that's apply some darker color any color and we'll be doing some adjustment with that later on so uh, here as you can see in the specs it has got some depth so we'll be selecting all the shapes like this uh, let's select them all like this part that part and this part and let's make them combine them or unite them and then create a duplicate on top now select the lower one and apply a dark blue color now if you see it it looks like there's a thickness in the same way we'll do the same step for the circle shape as well so I'll select this create a duplicate drag it down selecting the background and apply the dark blue color and this way we have given thickness to your specs let's scale down this uh, inner circle a little bit to give that a thickness to see that thickness of the image now next thing I will be adding a reflection in the glasses and for that I'm drawing out some random shapes using the pen tool and let's select this and that but we are duplicating on one of the circle and selecting that go to pathfinder and just intersect them and this will leave us with this shape only let's apply white color and 
start adjusting the shape we want to tweak it according to requirement like you can tweak it to any shape if you want a uh, so pointed or uh, any shape you can do that now let's uh, open the image and uh, let's trace out some more details for uh, drop shadow maybe some drop shadow on the face or shades so I'm just tracing out the uh, shapes over here only the half region of the face let's tweak it out according to the uh, region here this shape is going to give you that uh, shades in the image and for our cheek region also I'm just tracing out few of the uh, little bit a little shape over here to give that shape now once you have traced out the shapes let's hide the image and selecting uh, both the shapes let's apply light blue color do the same for the uh, cheek shape as well so let's do this one and apply light blue color and let's select them both and then arrange them to back off all the layers next will be drawing out a rectangle from the half region and will extract out the half region but before that let's do some add some details in the ribbon so using the line segment tool i have drawn out line segment little tilted given it a thickness applied white color and uh, for this uh, lower shape just create another duplicate on top using the shortcut command control c command control f Then let's add the thickness, give it a color, we'll keep it aligned to middle, then stroke thickness around 0 0.063. And after that, go to Pathfinder and subtract it. And this will leave us with a shape. Now duplicate all the align segment on top like this. And after that, we'll select each of the line segments and convert them into outline strokes. So selecting all of them, go to object path and outline stroke and this will convert them. After that, selecting the back layer, just click on intersect and this will leave us with this shape. And after that, using the rectangle tool, we are just uh, making sure that we are extracting out the other half region. So just place it on top of the other face, other surface, and using the shape builder to just uh, click and drag to combine all the shapes that's on the other left side of the region. So just make sure everything is there. And after that, using the selection tool, just delete out the rectangle, and we are left with this image. select everything except the lips and that small region in the nose and that's very important because it's going to be there in both sides so we are just leaving that by selection and now using the reflect tool just click on the middle and with the all press just click and drag and this will create out that as a symmetric face look but what i will see is it looks like an oval so we need to do some changes so let's do some tweaking using the x selection tool and once you're happy just just follow the same step create under duplicate using the reflect tool and this will give it this nice look so next thing uh, I'm just doing some adjustments over here uh, deleting out some extra shapes and com making the design complete on the other side as well giving it a little uneven or maybe you can say an organic organic natural look like it's looking symmetric so I'm doing some changes over here over here in the specs I'm just combining them so select them and combine them, unite them. And for the nose and these details, we have to send it to back. So with the command control press, open square bracket, command control open square bracket, you can send it to back. Using the ellipse tool, I'm adding some details below the chin to give a shade. Use the direct selection tool and just drag it down to do some tweaking. 
and after that apply the color light blue color our next will be let's open the layer and open our image and take all the details from the image using the direct selection tool and just follow along the jawline like that and so once you have got that let's add a background apply dark blue color using the eyedropper tool and after that I'll arrange the back and this will give us all the details and for the facial shapes like that shape and apply the light color we're using this little uh, light yellowish skinny tone to the uh, face and after that arrange it to back and this will give us this face look now we'll do some more adjustments over here as you can see the uh, reflection just making a duplicate of it and placing it on the other side this will give add a little more detail like a light, light source is coming from one direction uh, we have added a neck shape using the pen tool over here and just draw a curve like this if you want to extract other shapes so select both of them then using the shape builder to just and click and drag and extract all the other shape and this will divide it into two shapes selecting the upper region you can give any color I'm giving blue color and then arrange it to back and this will give you this nice shadow effect in the neck now uh, we will be adding some hair details so I'm using pen tool to give that hair flow effect some are longer some are shorter but one thing is there it's following uh, a flow so may everything is in a flow as we are doing this it's giving that nice flow in the image uh, I just tweak them accordingly and make sure that each of the lines are perfectly um, smooth and are in a flow and after that once you're done that will be the giving the color to the hair so pick a color we're giving like this dark blue color and it will give a stroke nice stroke thickness some thickness and i have given 0 0.063 but it may differ as per your document size and after that we have given an end pointed stroke but we have chosen that nice uh, profile to the stroke next uh, we have selected all the shapes and going to pathfinder united them so that it act as one object and then I have arranged it to back now go to effect blur Gaussian blur to add a nice blur to your design and this will give you that nice drop effect like a little shade in the face next I have created a duplicate of the uh, face on top and on that I'm adding a gradient color so on the right slider I have given white color with zero opacity and for the left slider we are choosing this color blue color so double click on the slider and just open RGB and paste it over here and the color will be applied and now using the gradient tool let's set the direction of the gradient uh, for this design I'm giving a darker bluish shade on the forehead and lighter on the chin side later uh, you can use the rectangular shape and uh, make a clipping mask in that way your whole artwork will be inside that clipping mask and you can adjust the border of the frame and that way after that I have used Photoshop to add some title and this way I have created on the vector art I have used this guy image and created out this vector design I have followed the same steps the basic thing is you have to uh, trace out only the minimum details from your face and your portrait will be ready I hope you find this tutorial useful it was lengthy but the steps are very simple to follow you can use any portrait image and create out a nice portrait vector you can use this to create out your profile I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you want more updates for designing, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.